Riley Sorella coming at you with a new food review. Today, I'm in Common Garden and I'm gonna be showcasing a place called By Chloe right here on Russell Street. Stay tuned because at the end of this episode, I'm gonna let you know whether to give this place a hit or a miss. Boom. By Chloe is a plant-based fast food restaurant founded in NYC back in 2015, filling that very needed gap for healthy vegan food on the fly. They have an extensive menu that includes salads, pastas, sandwiches, pancakes, sweet treats like cookies and cupcakes. They even have something for your pet dog. Fans of By Chloe's best-selling guac burger will argue that it is the vegan answer to Shake Shack, but that's a tall statement to make. In any case, I'm here to find out if it really bangs. Now I know what you're thinking, Riley, have you gone vegan? <laughs> no, I haven't gone vegan. I am a big, big self-professed meat eater, but I'm a big foodie, so you know I can enjoy foods of so many different varieties and vegan happens to be one of them. I've already made my order. I've got the, the quack burger, air baked fries, and I've also got a lemonade. So the first thing that stands out at this restaurant, as soon as I step in, I love the fact that it's so open space, lots of windows to let in that natural light, got nice light pastel colors. I really like it. Beautifully decorated. You can see in the background. I don't know if you can see it, but it says quack, save the queen. I think that's quite clever. They've given me this buzzer. So, you know, just like a lot of fast foods, they issue a buzzer, you make your order, they issue the buzzer, and you just wait for your food to be ready, which it is. That didn't take long. Let's go. Hello. Hi. Lemonade, regular fries, bug burger. All right. Cutlery, by the cutlery. okay. Yeah, and this is also on the corner. Okay, it looks no really one. good, smells good. Thank you. I hope you like it and you pass. I hope. I, I take the bottle. Oh yes, sure. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah. Here's my veggie burger. There is so much going into this guac burger that I'm not even going to try and remember it off by heart. It's going on their website. You can see here the guac burger. So it's got a black bean quinoa and sweet potato patty. So I think it's a combination of the two. Corn salsa, onion, guac, tortilla strips, chipotle aioli. Aeoli, I don't know how to really pronounce that, and a whole grain bun. So completely plant-based. Got the potato fries and we've got ice lemonade. Before I get into this, I'm gonna take a nice picture of this. So here's the moment of truth. Whack burger, veggie burger. Oh, it's got fresh tomatoes in it. I don't like fresh tomatoes, but let's sample it with the tomato first. I feel like I need to take another bite. I'm not gonna lie, that taste surprisingly good given the fact that there's no meat in there it's just 100 percent plant-based it actually tastes good it can't compare to a real burger like it can't compare to a, you know a juicy beef patty but this is actually pretty good there's a lot of flavor profiles going on in here like there's a lot of crunch coming from the patty itself super super crispy then obviously the white creamy velvety texture i don't mind the fresh tomatoes in there the bun tastes like regular bread mm. you know what what's interesting is that the tomato adds a lot of juice to the burger i think the absence of the tomato would make this burger pretty dry so the tomato the fresh tomato which if you guys watch me regularly you know how i bash fresh tomatoes i'm not a big fan of fresh tomatoes but on this occasion it works extremely well i am really enjoying this 
Quack Burger, thumbs up. Now, I have neglected the fries. I'm sure they don't taste like anything special. They taste like, they taste like they've been fried, but these have been air-baked. Air-baked, guys, air-baked. But they, they actually taste like they've been fried. So, props to the chef. This is really good. I think out of the whole experience, it's the fact that this is supposed to be fast food, you know, like junk food. You know, you eat junk food and you feel really, really dirty and you feel guilty. But this, as I'm eating, it feels so clean, feels so good. It's brilliant. You can enjoy fast food, aka like junk food, but it's not really junk food because it's all plant-based and it tastes so clean. It goes down very well. I mean, I'm not going to gas you guys and say, oh yeah, this burger is paying and blah, 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 because um, it, it just cannot compare, in my opinion, it cannot compare to a regular beef burger or a chicken burger for that fact. But, you know, I've been to some establishments that do some pretty bad beef burgers, chicken burgers, and this would trump those places. I can think of one place. Well, I can think of one place, but I forgot the name of the place. I've done a review for the place, so I'll leave it in the card there. I can't actually remember the name of it. Terrible, but... Yeah, I done a review for that place a while back and I vowed to never, ever, ever go to that place again and I've never been there ever since. Honestly, when I first took a look at the burger, I was a bit... I was a bit worried because I'm not, I'm not a massive fan of vegetables and plant-based foods. I mean, I eat it every now and then, but even when I was growing up, I would avoid vegetables, especially things like broccoli, cauliflower, ugh, even lettuce. So they've done a good job with this and uh, I'm going to give this place a thumbs up. Definitely, if you are vegan, you want to hit up this place. If you're not vegan, you still want to hit up this place because you know every now and then you want to try something clean. And this is very, very clean. The burger came at nine pounds. Mm, I mean, that's a standard going rate for burgers in London, but I don't know. I think, I guess, the effort that they have come to get such a quality ingredient obviously will be more expensive so the fact that it's still going at the same price as the going rate for you know a beef burger or a chicken burger you know gourmet beef burger chicken burger because we're not talking old mcdonald's kfc burger chicken here we're talking like proper gourmet stuff it's actually not bad value fries four pounds um i think it could be cheaper but I'm not really complaining i did forget to sample the lemonade. Let's give it a sip. Oh, that's delicious. It's a nice balance of sweet and um, what would you call lemon? Sour, bitter? I think it's more on the sour side. Yeah, it's a nice balance of sweet and sour. Yeah. Anyway, that's going to be the end of this review. Like I said before, I'll give this place a thumbs up. Definitely give this place a hit. If you happen to be in Common Garden, give this place a go by Chloe London. If you like the video, you know what to do. Comment below, share the video. And if you haven't already, make sure to subscribe to my channel and hit the notification bell. So, till next time, peace. Whoa.